Hi, my dragonfly friends. How are you today? I am doing a really quick pour, hopefully not too long. I have a 12 by 12 inch um, Artist Loft um, gallery wrapped canvas um, that I am doing a really quick pour on and I have a, my cup. Um, I did, I one of the colors that I am using is the Lucas um, Persian Blue which is right here. Gorgeous. But I did um, paint my edges just to make sure that there's gonna be coverage. Um, everything is mixed with mixed pour. I'll put Krista's information in the video. Um, I also added just a little bit of the Liquitex and GAC 800, um, just to be on the safe side. I'm using a new color palette that I haven't used before. Um, tonight's pour is actually in honor of um, Miss Sandra D um, from Greece. Um, Olivia Newton-John um, passed away and I tried to look up to see what colors that she liked and everybody said pink and black, but. I don't know if that was accurate just because she was in the pink ladies and it was greased so I don't know I just decided I didn't want to just do pink and black so this pour is for her I loved her um, even in Xanadu I thought she was so amazing and in Glee and everything and she just seemed like one of those kind of people that you would want to know yourself so um, anyways, um, the colors that I am using tonight are the Liquitex, the, um, Dioxazine Purple, which is right here, and then I have, um, just a tiny, tiny bit of the, um, Amsterdam Bronze, uh, copper, copper color, because I don't want anything to be too bossy in it but I wanted to add just that little tiny metallic glint. So I have some of that. And then for my white, I didn't wanna do just white. Um, all the comments and everybody that knew her um, said Olivia was, you know, a bright light. And so I didn't want just white. So I am using the Deco Out Pearl and the Snow White. And then I have a um, PBO color. It is called uh, Terra Rosa. And I have that right here. I just, I love this color. It's just so hard for me personally to get a color palette that I can use it in. And it is opaque. So that's why I'm gonna use it with um, the Parage Posse. Um, I love this color. It's most shimmering eggplant. And oh my goodness. And I'll put uh, Christina Welch, her information. But it's it's just, oh, it's brilliant. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Reminds me of a really yummy Merlot. And I like wine. So, <laughs> and then the other one I have is Knockoff Iridescent Shimmer, which is right here. And it's beautiful too. So that's my color palette. Um, let me see if I can put the colors um, up on the canvas so you can kind of see in a row. This is kind of how I'm gonna do the color palette with some white in between um, here to, to make sure that this doesn't bleed in too much into the other colors. Um, so that's how I'm gonna be layering my cup. And I will put um, Krista's information and Christina's information in the description box below. Um, and I'm just gonna do a straight pour to see what happens. This is a brand new color palette to me. Um, but I'm really actually quite excited to see what comes of it. Um, I think these colors are delicious together. And we'll just have to see if we get any mud or anything. We all, we're all gonna just learn together. I'm sure, you know, I'm a newbie. I'm not professional at 
fluid art or anything. I'm more of an actual painter, but um, I have been enjoying myself. So um, I've been doing this, the fluid art for over two years, going on three years maybe, at least. Anyways, um, I was doing um, a lot of watercolor and I did acrylic painting on canvases before too. So I um, love to draw and do all kinds of stuff. So this is all new, um, but let's just go ahead and see what, what happens when we go. So I'm gonna do the little bit of the pearl white. Oops, I'm making a mess already. And I'm gonna do the purple. All of my consistencies are pretty thick. The mix that I'm using is a thick mix. It's not the thin, just in case everybody wants to know. I do that barrage tossing. Just a little bit of the copper. It's pretty. I'm gonna do a little bit more white. Gorgeous blue. Another PBO. Never real sure if it's PBO or PEBIO. So I guess it really doesn't matter, just to each his own. And this gorgeous color. I like lots of that. So what I'm gonna do is actually thinking I want some of that purple with that. And then we'll do some more pink. And a little bit more copper. Probably finish the copper off because I didn't make that much. I didn't want a huge amount. If you hear some of my family in the background, I apologize. Twin brothers are always a unique mix in the family. Definitely a love-hate relationship going on there. And do some more of this color. I'm thinking I might have a Plenty of color. Okay. I've got totally enough paint. I may not even have to do a flow extender, but we'll just see. See what we think when we get there. I'm going to water down some of this white, though. Just a little bit to pour into. Doesn't take a lot. All right. And I'm gonna pop just this tiny little bit of bubbles. And I'm gonna take a drink. Enjoy everyone. I always get so nervous when I do videos, so I always feel like I'm stammering through everything. <laughs> so forgive me if I am. Um, but I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, please like and subscribe um, and share. I'm a newbie and um, this is kind of literally my art therapy. I do this to get myself back into a good center and have happy thoughts when I'm done and hopefully I get to create something beautiful in the meantime. So I'm going to do a straight pour like I said um, and I'll try and twist it. We'll see how things go. So let's see what our creative wings show today.
and I did not do a very good job, so I'll get my little stick and see if we can make it look a little bit better. <laughs> losing some on this side already. I really, really, really think that I have plenty of paint already on here, but I think I am going to water down some of this, um, some of the blue, just so it doesn't roll over on itself. Put a little bit of water. what he wants to do. These colors are really pretty. I do like them a lot. You guys think move these over so I don't mess those up <laughs> let's see let's pop some bubbles so when I mix my paints um, I let them rest for a little while just so that um, there wasn't a huge amount of paints with bubbles um, I mean, obviously, when you pour it out um, and put it in your cup and everything, there will be bubbles. But if you mix and mix and mix your paints, there's going to be tons of bubbles in those too. Plus, I have found that sometimes some of those really thicker paints, like the Parage Posse, which is super creamy, but it's so thick that um, if you mix it up a little bit, um, and then let it sit and then mix it again. It seems to break down a little bit better. That's just my personal, um, opinion. Um, and that's what's working for me. Um, so I like to pre-mix my paints just a little bit. It doesn't always have to be a couple of hours tonight. It was just because I had so much going on with the kiddos and making dinner and everything. But I try to do at least like a 30 minutes before just to see if some of those bubbles will work themselves out. But, um, okay. So, so far I think this looks beautiful. I think I love this section right here. Um, but we will just kind of spin it around and see how it starts to stretch itself out. I don't want to go too fast because it. I don't want to lose anything that I might really, really like. And of course, I know that there are things that I will like and somebody else won't like. Um, but that's okay. Um, you know, that's how we, 
have our own artistic eye in everything. Trying to not go off the edge too quickly. Um, I want some of this to just get stretched out a little bit. There's so much paint on here. I have plenty of wiggle room if there's something that I don't like. I think that the, that pink and the copper kind of got a little bit bossy amongst themselves. So we might be taking some of that off more to stretch some of this off because I kind of like really like that. So let's see. I think I want to stretch over to this side first and get off the corner. Try and center it back. Actually, I think I want to try to get some of that back. Okay. I'm not trying to go super fast because I just want. those colors to be stretched out and blended but I don't want to take anything off that I really like so I think I'm going to try and go back this way because I really I'm really liking that part of it I'd like to stretch that out and see what happens with that more and I've got plenty of paint on here to be able to play around with it a little bit okay I'm gonna try and bring that back So I was reading about Olivia Newton-John today, and apparently, wow, look at all that paint. I'm going to have to scrape that up <laughs> for additional pours. <laughs> so let's go ahead and bring that back down. I think I've got a lot of the paint weight over here still, so I'm going to go this way. Anyways, I was reading about her a little bit today and one of the things that was mentioned was that she almost didn't even take the role for Sandy in Greece. And I thought, oh no, <laughs> that would have been awful. <laughs> Don't know who they would have gotten for that, but... <laughs> I thought, oh my goodness, she's so iconic for that role. And she was so beautiful, and the chemistry between her and John, Tra 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 John Travolta, oh my goodness, um, was so amazing that I can't even imagine anything being different. moving nice and slow so that's good that's why I like to do the thicker of the mix when I do the straight pours or ring pours because they don't fly off
Okay, so I actually really like this. <laughs> Somebody out there probably won't like it. Um, but I, I really do. I think that all the colors, good lord, that transparency is just awesome. And those lines stay true. They really, really did. Um, I'm going to torch it. And I've never tried to bring you guys down to see, so I don't know if I should do that or not. <laughs> It's gonna be bumpy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I really, really like this. Those colors actually blended quite nicely. Okay, let me see if I can bring you guys down. I'm sorry if it's bumpy for a second. Here you go. You can see it, those cells. They got some really neat looking cells. But the color combination, this corner is just awesome. I really, really like it. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment, share, like, and subscribe. Um, I'll put all the information in the description box. Have a great evening, everyone. Bye.